genuinely feel that digitally planning hip replacement cases is the safest, the most accurate, and the most responsible way to prepare to operate on a patient for joint replacement surgery. I benefit directly from digitally planning my hip replacement surgery because it gives me the confidence on the day of surgery that I have prepared, that I have a plan, and that that plan has been communicated to the wider theatre team so I can focus on the patient care on the day of surgery rather than decision making in terms of what to do and what equipment to use. Digitally planning all my joint replacement cases has fundamentally changed virtually every step of the process in planning orthopaedic surgery. Spending less than two minutes on a plan for a primary case enables me initially to discuss with the patient specifically what I'm planning to do for them. It allows me sometimes to even change the decision as to whether to operate or not. The preoperative plan can then be communicated with company representatives, so it has changed the way I request or order extra equipment for complex cases. I also use that plan to communicate ahead of time with the theatre team so they can plan for a different staff mix for complicated cases and specifically the implants we are likely to use. My use of digital planning to plan and prepare for hip replacement surgery has had significant benefits for the hospital. They are able to plan ahead in terms of equipment requirements, implant levels to keep in stock, and indeed the staff mix that we have on the day in theatre because the plan identifies special or more complicated cases and indeed communicates the simple primary replacements. A bigger picture for the hospital really is in terms of risk management, the fact that every single hip replacement I perform is planned digitally means the chances of the common complications such as dislocation and leg length discrepancy are reduced. It means the risk of complications producing a complaint from the patient is also lowered and in fact, specifically on that point, because I use the digital plan in the consent process, the patient can see that I've considered potential problems and I'm trying to reduce the risk of those. And that communication, in fact, means complaints are much less likely to occur. My patients benefit from preoperative planning because they get a personalised plan for their operation. I consider directly factors specific to them, such as a leg length difference they may have due to disease, such as potential complications that may be more likely, so dislocation in older patients. I think another very big benefit for patients is they are more involved now in the decision making for surgery and more interested in how it is done and potentially what is going to be done. And the use of a preoperative plan, not only to ensure accuracy from the surgery, but also as a tool to empower them, it has been a huge benefit to my patients. The future of digital planning is very exciting. It will become the norm for all hip and knee replacement surgery. There will be developments in it in terms of three-dimensional planning, and I think that will bring it to the fore in knee replacement surgery. I cannot imagine undertaking a hip replacement operation without having planned it digitally. I think it will become a legal requirement to have actually filed a preoperative plan in the patient's notes or on the x-ray system. I can see a time in the not too distant future when a hospital or a group of hospitals will demand as a prerequisite that their surgeons are digitally planning hip and indeed knee replacement and recording that plan 
as part of the patient's record.